Hi, my name is Lisa. Welcome to Creative Bird Studio. This is the third video that I'm making as part of my Learn Make Document series, um, which was inspired by the Initially You 2022 um, group. So this week I watched a video by Sue. She is from Paper Inspirations. I will link her channel below. Um, but what she was doing is uh, making some postcards using her stamps. So she had quite a good range of stamps that had the postcard symbols um, and words on them um, to make her postcards with stamps. But I actually don't have any of those. So I got on the computer and created a printable which I have used. So a um, couple of things to discuss in this video. Um, one is my printable that I created. So what I actually made was this one here. Hopefully that's in short. Um, so this is the initial one that I made. And this is four different postcards on an A4 sheet of paper. You know, I do have that available in my Made It shop now as a download, um, along with this second version that I made, which are slightly smaller postcards, which have a border around, but they're the same designs, essentially. Um, so those ones you will actually need to cut each one out. And this one, you can simply do what I did, which is tear the page into four. So I'll just show you what I did with those. So I have printed this exact printable onto a piece of cardstock that is this sort of, I'll just grab a sheet to show you. isn't exactly the same but it's a similar one it's like a cream sort of off-white color um, so I just get that from my local craft shop and I've printed it onto there then what I have done is just pop them like that folded the paper in half torn it in the middle fold it in half again torn it in the middle to get four postcards. Then to get this lovely colored areas on it, I have sprayed it with some tea. Um, and I will actually put up a video. So I've done the front and the back on the process of how I've done that as well, just to show you. Now the beauty of this printable is that you can print it on any paper that you like. So you can print it on card that's this color. This is another set that I did on another piece of card, which is actually watercolor paper that has been coffee dyed. So it's slightly darker. And that's that one. And it just sort of enhances. This has also been treated the same way with the tea, um, but it just creates darkened areas. So that's that one. I will also be putting up a couple of sets of these printed and tea stained available in my Made It shop, which once the listing is up, I will pop a link below for that as well. So that's those. And I'll just show you these. So these are some mixed media postcards that I created from ones that were similar to this. So on the other side, I've literally just decorated it with lots of layers using paint and collage and some texture paste and some of my little paper ruffles, and buttons, stencils, lots of different things to create the layers. On these ones and then on the other side which is the postcard side I've just popped a couple of French stamps and just a little stamp over the top 
and you can see I've got some things overhanging which I quite like and just to darken them I have inked the edges of these as well both sides and then this is the other one that I made same process just layering lots of different um, mixed media techniques on top of one another this one's got some gold texture paste through a stencil which gives me that one that stencil is the little one from witchcraft do you do which I have mentioned in a previous video but that's it there I love that stencil it's just a little tiny one that I have on this little clip and um, it's really handy there for me to just pick up and use and it looks great so that's that one and then the other side again just a little French stamp on that one so these are great for just putting tucking inside a journal inside a pocket you could even pop it on the front of a birthday card and use it as a card if you wanted to. Lots of different ways that you could use these. Now these ones are created using three of the cards. So what I've done is I've actually hinged them together with various things. This one's a piece of fabric. This one is a strip of uh, used tea bag. So that's that one so as you can see this one folds out it's room for writing on the back and also you've got your three postcards there where you could also write a bit of stenciling all the edges have been inked and there's also some French stamps and more postal stamps over the top so that's that one and then this one is a similar flip out, but the flip's just been done a different way. So this one is hinged with a piece of satin sari silk. And it just flips out that way. And we've got the three stamps again, a bit of stenciling, some inked edges, and some extra space for writing. So that's the ones that I have created and they will be available for sale in my made it shop as well um, and I will link that um, below once I have put that listing up I'll just move those out of the way and lastly in Sue's video she was actually using a technique of um, popping some napkin over um, as over the paper as a um, one of her postcard designs this one is the same as what I've shown previously but what I actually did was when I printed it on the back of the postcard I actually printed a full page of text like sort of script writing so when I've put the map napkin over the top you can actually see it through so that text there is not part of the napkin it's actually on the paper behind and then because the napkin becomes transparent when you glue it, it can be seen through. So that's quite a nice effect because it it's, looks as if it's quite layered, but really there's only two layers there. And I did also spray this one with the tea dye, but because I had already glued it, the tea didn't penetrate the whole thing. It's mostly penetrated around the edge. Uh, and I actually like how that came out and I'll probably put some more ink along the edges just to darken it up even more um, I haven't done any further embellishments to this one as yet um, but I do have the file of little clusters that I made previously in a previous video so I was thinking potentially I could use one of these that's quite cute This one with the roses is quite nice as well. But 
that's quite nice. I could put that there. And then on the other side, you would see the lace poking out, which is a look that I do really like. So I'll probably end up sticking that onto there. And then that just adds a bit of embellishment to this side and also to this side as well. So I hope you've enjoyed that video. Um, it's just a quick one today. Thank you for watching. And if you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button. And if you would like to see future videos, please subscribe to my channel.